This presentation is on using PHP script tags appropriately in your PHP program and what they're for. Now, before I get to that, I just want to emphasize that nothing's going to happen unless you start the WAMP server. So I want to run a program here and get an error so you can see it. I'm going to open this program in Firefox. So I'm here. Uh, OK, I'm still today. Now, you would expect this. It comes up in File, C Drive, WAMP, and what have you. This is on a PC. Normally what I do is I put in localhost, and then I run it. But right now it says, Problem Loading Page Unable to Connect. That's because I didn't start the WAMP server. And without that, nothing's going to happen. So let's take a look. Here we go. I happen to have it here in a convenient spot, so I'm going to click on it. So before I look, you can often see it's color-coded. It'll be red, and then it'll turn orange, then it'll turn green. If I left-click on it or click on it, I can see all of these things are here. The local host, PHP My Admin that we're going to learn about, and some other things. If your web server ever starts acting kind of flaky and things aren't running well, but you're pretty sure you've started it, the WAMP server here, you can just do restart all services and it'll refresh everything. So remember that. Now, let's go back and look at this web page. Now I've got it there. I'm going to hit the Enter key. This time, it finds it. Finds it running localhost. So that's got to come there. Now I have these programs running on the root. To remind you about the web structure, we have a WAMP directory, and under there we have www, and that is our root directory. So programs that are under there will run when I do it this way, localhost forward slash and then the program name. I'm going to show you later in class how we can use relative referencing and we can run from directories that are deeper off the root. So here we are. I've got a web page. I'm showing the time twice. Let me hit the refresh. And you see that the time displays in both places and keeps getting updated. Let's go look at the code. There's method to my madness. And I wanted to show you that you can use more than one PHP block. This beginning PHP tag and ending, that's considered a PHP block of code or just PHP block. Down here, I have another PHP block. You can open and close these as much as you want in a web page. It's not a problem. So if I want to do regular old HTML like I did here, I have to make sure that I'm not in one of these blocks or it won't behave very well at all. If I were to take this out, make that error, and then go ahead and try to run this page again, let me try to refresh it, it gets confused. I get an error, unexpected angle bracket. So let's go back and put that back in. So you've got to watch that. You can't run HTML inside of a PHP block, not by itself. If I were to take this and put it in the block within these PHP script tags and try to run it again, I should get some kind of error. Let's go to the local host. And I do. I get an error again. OK, so it's important to let HTML be HTML and let PHP be PHP, and they have to appear in the right places, PHP in the PHP blocks, and HTML anywhere outside of them. It'll be interpreted correctly. This ends our presentation on using the PHP tags.